Let's continue the link between worlds. If you're watching later on YouTube, thank you for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying. But, uh... Ah, at last, Dungeon. <laughs> I'm still a little disappointed in myself, but I'll... I'll cope. I should have done better. Okay, let's see the sand rod. It's not what I was expecting. It behaves more like a shovel. I was expecting it to be more like uh, the one used in Spirit Tracks. does behave like that. I guess the other one was dirt, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't sand. Sorry. I guess... It's time to think about where to go. Let's see. Well, I guess now that I have this, maybe there's a way to the desert, because I haven't been able to get there. My lad, you're alive, I thought that. No matter. I am just glad to see you alive and well. Please tell me, is Princess Zelda safe? Hey, Banana, thanks for the raid, how's it going? I see, so Yuga has become evil itself in the Kingdom of Shadow, cursing for all eternity. His evil has spread even here, for just after you vanquished into Hyrule Castle, a quake shook the kingdom. They left fissures like this all through Hyrule, and when there are cracks, can shattering be far behind? Uh, hello, Kirby. Welcome. Uh, how's the stream going? It's going well. I'm just trying to play through all the Zelda games before Tears of the Kingdom comes out, so I'm up to a link between worlds. I'm close to getting up to date. With Princess Zelda in our enemy's hands, Hyrule is on the brink of disaster. But you, you at least wield the sacred blade of legend, the Master Sword. Hope lives still, as long as you hold that sword and your courage will surely see us through. The future of Hyrule Kingdom is in your hands, Lunkles. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, well, how was, uh, how was stream? Okay, here another one. 
Hold on. Now. Oh. Well, that's going to be... That's going to be painful. Oh, it's up there. Nope, doesn't work. Pegasus... Yeah, it would have to be Pegasus boots. It's been good. Good to hear. Good to hear. another one, but I'm not sure where it is. Oh, yeah. Can't tell what direction it's coming from. Sorry you gotta leave as soon as you're right. No, it's fine. I mean I get that it's uh it's late. It's understandable. But appreciate the raid either way. Have a good rest of your evening. Hear it, but I don't see it. It's probably under one of the big rocks, if I was to take a guess. Okay. I'm just here for quick heals. gonna say uh. welcome back to Laurel Kingdom Lunkles you find yourself near a swamp that is dread and is a dread and rotting place within it I sense the very faint presence of a sage and how odd I also since desert sand near this sage, but there is no desert in low rule. Furthermore, I foresee that you must bring an item into a temple there that will give you control over sand. I say again, there is no desert in low rule. <laughs> I do sense the start of your path is here, though. How baffling. So, say I, Hilda of low rule. Okay, so it's just making sure you don't go off on a tangent. I'm happy as long as my feathered friends are with me. Well, that is before they got turned into monsters. In which case, I should have been changed along with them, I thought. So I put on a mask and chanted a lot. I tried to admire the yellow-winged monsters that live nearby, but... As soon as they land, they spit out these bomb-like things, and I can't get anywhere near them. I think I might be able to get closer to one if I had a shield. Yeah, that's not helping the slightest. Okay, I see that one. That one's easy. I could I could listen to this theme all day. I wonder if I can make that with the stamina. Oh, 
Oh, you can't. Uh... Alright, I'll have a look around first. I see you. Why is there a puddle here? Ah! I wish you could place it directly under your character, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. I think I might be overcomplicating it as well. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was going to be it. What was the purpose of that post? Hmm, too high. I guess I smacked the post. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, I messed up. I need to reset this. I guess this is the only way to reset it. Gotta be another point to this. I hate how you can't turn around. Oh, I'm not walking. It's just automatic. Okay, that explains it. It's a loading screen.
There we go. Okay, nothing that way. About this way. Oh. That's a little bit of a disappointment. I guess I needed the heels. Uh, these vultures are kind of annoying. Stop doing this at some point. Probably a bad idea. Yeah. Oh, I was trying to be defensive. Oh, that sucks. Oh, you want me to tell Wario impression? What do you want me to say? I'll just wing it. I choose. I mean... When I used to play Mario Party... I'd always pick Wario, and just to make people laugh, whenever the round would start, I'd be like, Oh yes, it's time to fuck! And it would make people laugh. Or like, when you lose, it's, Oh, I missed! But I can make him say anything. <laughs> what am I doing? Go in there. Uh, 
I don't think Wario ever says, oh yes, but I make him say it. It's not quite the way Charles does it, but... It's good enough. Have a rotten day, oh yes! <laughs> oh man. You know, if, if Nintendo is looking for a voice actor to voice Wario, I'm available. Is that? I guess I should save first. <laughs> yep. All right, we can just add here. There's a palace. Ooh, this theme is very different to what I was expecting. It's very ominous. There's there's a lot of chanting in it. I wish I could play Mario Kart in a way that I could use Warrior, but Warrior is a heavy racer, and I don't do well with heavy racers. But I could have fun. I could have fun with that. <laughs> oh yes, it's Bullet Bill from the rear. Yes! <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at my own stuff. It's not in good taste. Feels like it just belongs in a monastery or something. <laughs> I don't know. Oh man. This this music has a lot of depth to it. One more. What's the third statue? There it is.
I must redeem myself of the previous dungeon. What Zelda games is after A Link Between Worlds? Triforce Heroes. I believe it was called somewhere, something else, though, in America, I think. Depends what region. But that one's, it's, I guess, more of a puzzle game than any of the other ones. But then after that, it's Breath of the Wild, so... I think I need to consume milk. No, nope, milk. Consume milk, don't die. But almost there. Uh, These games aren't going to be long. Okay, you can't lift that. Understandably so. Oh. Will Breath of the Wild be any percent? I haven't decided yet. I'm still on the fence, but I know what I'm gonna do is it's gonna be master mode and I'm going to be uh, doing what I did the first time, which was just be on three hearts like 99% of the time. Just don't spend hearts until, well sorry, the the orbs until I have pretty much all of them. I'm just debating about the Koroks. I haven't come to a decision on the Koroks yet. I have found all of them once, but it wasn't on stream, so... It, it depends, because I, I don't want it to be like, oh crap, I'm not done. I guess I better delay Tears of the Kingdom. I want to play that right away. Not on stream, never happened. D yeah, I guess. We'll see how much time remains from when I get up to it. If, let's say, I, I can play it for a month, then maybe. If it's any less than a month, I don't think I can find all the Koroks, because it's, it's roughly like a 150 to 200 hour investment of time. Give or take. grateful that so far this dungeon has been fine. Your bicep feels like it's rotting in your arm. Well, <laughs> ugh. What on earth could give you that feeling?
Just laying there and then tame. Hmm. Maybe l just awkward lying down. Can happen. Why am I... Really, that laser could hit me? There we go. Oh, but I... Does... How do we... Right, got it. Titan's mitt! Alright, cool. We can pick up the big rocks. It's only been half an hour. <laughs> Not even half an hour, like, the VOD so far, and I feel like this dungeon is practically over. You like the gauntlets in Ocarina of Time because you can see them and they look badass. Yeah, I do remember that. These were the big ticket item. I think in any Zelda game you get them, they're just a big deal. Oops. And now... Oh. This music was not what I was expecting. Okay, so this dungeon was, uh... Significantly easier. Assuming it's over. It might not be over. We're going back outside, aren't we? Yep. Of course we are. the idea. Oh god. I was expecting one more in the middle there, but we're fine. I think I've redeemed myself in this dungeon. <laughs> Hello, Cobra, and good morning. How's your uh, day going so far? Hey, eh, eh. Oh, no. How am I gonna... Just woke up and started work. Ah. Uh, but don't have to commute or anything. My day was good. Uh, just hung out with my brothers, went to go see the Mario movie. Had some lunch and then... Came back and started playing this. You work from home? Yeah, nice.
I don't think I could ever go back to having to get up early and doing a commute. I too work from home. Is this just... Does this go all the way? It does. Okay, let's just get good. Told them you're leaving if you have to go back to the office. <laughs> good. No, definitely the right call. I mean, it's just one of those things. It's, it's just the way to do things now. And there's so many studies that show that people are just more happier and productive. Not across every industry, but in general. The other push that I'm hoping to see is just going to a four-day work week. Because there's a lot of studies that show that... Keeping people at the same pay but working four days a week means it's uh, more productive. Because there's less burnout, and uh, you feel re-energized at the start of the next week. You love your own toilet, and a job can never offer that. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I'd, I'd honestly be the same. I just would never want to go back to the office. It's very helpful with the kids, like, they're home right now, so you would have had to take a day off. A four day week would be nice, but then the pay needs to increase. No, but I guess the study is you don't reduce pay. It's pretty much you keep your current salary, but you, you work four days a week only. And you end up being more productive than what you would have worked in a five day week. There's like a lot of studies that show that that is the case. Because with a typical five-day work week, by the time you get to Friday, your productivity levels are less than half in general by the time you get to the end of the day. So it's effectively, Friday is like a half day in terms of productivity. And then when you enter the next week, there's like a, sometimes there's lag on a Monday because you just haven't made time for yourself. And also if employees are happier, then uh, they tend to work better. So the whole four day work thing would be, you'd work four days, but you would earn the same money that you would when you work five days. And uh, quite a few companies have started doing that, at least in the IT world. I know other industries have started messing around with it. It's only a matter of time. That would be great if they did that here. Well, I've heard that quite a few American companies to attract talent, that's what they're doing. That's exactly what they're doing. So, it's already a thing. It's just, I guess it depends. I don't think it's widespread enough yet, but... I think it'll, it'll end up that way. Recently, um, our government recommended that, uh, Australian companies to remain competitive and attract talent to Australia, that they switch to a four-day work week, so it's only a matter of time here. But anyway, I digress. The Mario movie, uh, without spoilers, it was good. It is an excellent kids movie, and whatever the critics have been saying, they're just being... I don't know, pompous, just... 
Overanalyzing something that is intended as a kids movie. There were quite a few kids in the cinema and they were just laughing the majority of the time at the movie, so... It's a pretty good success. Going to see it next weekend at a birthday party. You want to see it now? It, it's it's good. Like, it's one of those movies that it's definitely designed for kids, and it's not it's not something that has like a plot that builds up. It's kind of it goes just from scene to scene to scene. Like, it doesn't mess around. So, and that was, I guess, the complaint of some of the critics. They were like, oh, this isn't even, like, a proper story. It's not structured. Blah, 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 blah. It's, it's a kid's movie, and it succeeds in that regard. But there's stuff for the adults as well. There's so many references in there. Just nods to... 1990s culture, uh, early Nintendo. But anyway, that's, that's all I'll say on it. I know the movie's just come out and I don't want to spoil it for anyone. But it's definitely worth a watch and, uh... I guess Chris Pratt as Mario... Yeah, I mean, I got, I got, uh... Hang on. What's this? I had concerns about it, but those concerns were alleviated, and yeah, you, you get used to it, and uh, I guess it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I think it's just the way the trailers were cut, it just made it seem like he wasn't putting much of an effort in. But there may have just been a couple of scenes. What am I missing here? Oh, no, no, I see, I see, I see. This is like a... Wait, but how am I going to guide the ball? Okay, hang on. I need to guide this ball. But there's no... Ooh, this puzzle. Okay, I got it. I see, I see. Oh! It makes me hope that Nintendo does more animated movies on their franchises. I'd honestly love to see a movie about Zelda or Metroid. Yay! Alright, we're done here. I don't have to bother with all the chests because nothing gives a heart piece. Would like to see a Zelda movie. Yeah, that's definitely a very good story to tell. Donkey Kong movie. Well, Seth Rogen would uh, definitely want that to happen. His uh, his laugh suits Donkey Kong pretty well. But, uh, 
they were serving, well, you could get popcorn in a metallic, uh, question mark block tin. And so I caved and got one. And that's where I'm going to store some of my Game Boy games. I've gotten really far in the game from when you were last here. I've been playing for four hours, so this is four hours worth. One hour of which was on the, uh, the baseball game, which I'm just not going to talk about. And another 20 minutes in the uh, previous dungeon, which I'm also not going to talk about. So this is my redemption arc right here. We don't talk about that here. Exactly. How many dungeons left? I mean, six, I think. Is it six? No, it's seven. Six after this one. Oh boy, that can't be good. There's still a lot of game left. Yeah, because you have the initial three. It follows the same formula as A Link to the Past. A Link to the Past has three initial dungeons, and then you get the Dark World, which has the eight maidens. Is it eight or is it seven? I can't remember. But it's the same here. I'll tell you the minigame I will talk about. I'll talk about the chicken minigame. Did that first try. Just... Of course I succeed at a minigame that involves chicken. Oh, it's on a timer. I think I got what I need to do. That is, uh, that is quite the way to solve that. I think this was optional as well. <laughs> Maybe. You want your chicken nuggies? You mean you still haven't got on them yet? Drink the milk again. Okay. So you know how yesterday we were talking about Australian food? I want to bring something to the attention of the court. And this is just to incriminate Sydney and just say if you're going to visit Australia, uh, where I am in Melbourne is, is better. Because Sydney is responsible for this. Now, this is uh, these are fries, and they have uh, they have melted gummies on top with sprinkles. Apparently, sweet fries, and uh, this is not April Fools. This is at some food festival. Apparently, a thing. It just reminds me of, um, we didn't have peeps here, but, you know, the, the, the peeps are. The pizza made out of peeps. That's what it reminds me of. I'm not even morbidly curious about this. Don't have peeps. No, we don't have a lot of, uh, American snacks. We have one flavor of Mountain Dew. But we have, uh... Three flavors of, uh... 
I'm gonna call it Diet Pepsi, but it's Pepsi Max. Yeah. Oh, okay, we did not. Not everyone likes them. You like them stale. I have heard that comparison being made that they, they are stale. Oh no, this stinks here. Okay, I see there's, there's an entrance. It's just a marshmallow. Uh, yeah. Not a not the biggest fan of marshmallow. But then again, I'm not much of a sweet tooth either. I'm more of a savory snack, salty. That's or spicy. Man, I thought this was over. It's about a bit to go. Wait, that stuns them? has to be it. Surprise, I found that. Nope, it's still another room. It goes around in a circle. Wait, I can throw it over the wall? I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Ah! Okay, I don't get it. I may have overcomplicated this. Stressing me out because if I die, I lose all my items. So, wait, how does this work? It's, it's not just this? No, see, it doesn't go over. Okay, plant it, sand rod up. There we go. Why didn't that work the first time? Weird. Now it's on a timer. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Go back! I gotta stop doing that because there's no heart pieces in dungeons. So what? Uh, I'm gonna go through that effort and then it's just gonna be money? Okay, just a sec. Yeah, probably not worth the risk. I was just seeing if there were any skulls that I could maybe get hearts from. 
I'm going to have to heal. So let's put this here. Oh, what? Okay, hold on. I thought this was just gonna go to the boss right away, but apparently not. Okay, nice. Mercy has been shown. Dun 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 dun. dun. I kind of just went downhill without thinking. Can I just snipe it? Is, is that an option? Doesn't appear to be working. Okay, hold up. Fire rod, maybe? Oh no, yep, that, that is, that is the choice right there. What, what, what have I done? Okay, go back here. Ah. Oh, this combo. Still got ya. I was gonna say, I, I would hope that I'm doing damage here. Seems like, whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, this just got a lot harder. Okay. Consume. Problematic. Uh, don't touch! Oh my god! It has to die now. It has to die now. Uh oh! I don't have any more heals. I fell in. Crap. Ugh, that's a tough fight. Second phase sucks with that laser. Hmm. 
Not a real friend, just doesn't check that I'm okay, just proceeds to mug me. Alright, that's fine. I just gotta get through the, the fight now. I think I've outgrown milk, I gotta buy potions now. This is why this game gives you so much money. It makes sense now. The shadow. I gotta pay attention to the shadow. Unless it's still the broomstick. No, it's still the broomstick, which is still missing. But I can see the shadow is just like a rectangle. It's not a detailed shadow at all. Oh heavens, my dear grandchild Irene was snatched. It happened so fast. Some awful man came through, very full of himself, and transformed her into a painting. I was flummoxed. I just stood there helpless. Oh, my dear granddaughter, gone. And she'd just been saying how she'd made a new friend of late. I know, I know, this isn't the time to be mixing potions like nothing's wrong. But I just can't calm down if I'm not keeping busy. Um. Oh. Eight hearts. Just... How many hearts is that? What about blue? Restore all your hearts. I only... Wow. I guess I can only afford this. Alright. Just go directly here now, thankfully. I don't have to go through all of that. Oh, I guess I still have to go through this. There's more to do here. Uh, oh man, backtracking. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I can heal up whatever. Although, if I die, I guess that's bad. Oh boy.
Damn it. How do I do this? I gotta make it shoot me. But now. Please, please no kill. At least it's kind enough to do this. Gonna be better. Oh, I missed. Complicated this first part. Oh, what? Must have to use this again. Being greedy. I just want to gone. Oh. This thing is so annoying. What is happening? Why is it not dying? How many times do I have to hit it?
I'm surprised it hasn't gone to a second row yet, but okay. Thank you for the GG. I mean, uh, roughly an hour for the dungeon. It's, it's good. Better than the previous one. H hey, you came to rescue me? Well, I don't know what to say, Lunkles. Hmm, except that you took your sweet time, didn't you? I was in big trouble here. And I've got to get back to my gram. But it's alright, I forgive you. Just don't take that long to rescue me next time. And don't make any of the other sages wait that long either. Come on. Get to saving the rest. Oh, I have to step on it. I thought it was more of a cutscene. <laughs> Oh, lovely Zelda. What is it like to be a princess from a kingdom blessed by so many happy endings? Once upon a time, Lowrule was such a place, but no longer. Lowrule was just like Hyrule. So very beautiful, so very promising. We have need of a hero, and your Lunkles is superb. We all deserve a happy ending, don't we? I can only hope that Lunkles is victorious. Dun 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 dun. Wait. <laughs> Stop telling me to take a break. It's not gonna happen. I feel like I should do some overworld exploration now, because I haven't really been doing it. There's a heart piece here, so I need to figure out how to get it. I think I know how. It's over here. Do I need to go... I need to go back, don't I? Because that's the arena. That's the arena. Yeah. What? What? Ugh. Is that really what I have to do? I'll see. I think that was always there. Alright, where is this going? I need to go the other way. Okay, that's the solution. I just need to go from the side. Wait, did I go too far? Oh. Okay, no, I overcomplicated. I just needed to drop. <laughs> I thought I had to walk. Nuggies arrived right in Joy Messiah. What's a head cookie? 
Yes. I, I have had the clue told to me that there's no desert in low rule. Okay. In we go. I hear... I hear it, but I don't see it. It's somewhere here. It's somewhere around here, but I can't... The sound is roughly emanating from here. Do I have to tear the whole place up? This little squeaking thing is going to drive me insane. It's here, but I don't know where. Oh, yeah, now I've got two rows of hearts. There has to be... There has to be a reason why this is here. No? What if I go the other way? No, but see, that only goes that far out. Where is this thing? <laughs> I feel like I'm directly on top of it. Money. Where is it? <laughs> it feels like I'm trying to figure out where a cricket is. It stops, it's, it's, it has to be here. It's like there's a cricket in the house. Yeah, I've had that happen once and I spent two hours trying to find it. I did find it eventually, but. The sound effect seems to be the strongest here. I'm getting desperate, like, I'm just using this in random spot typing. Yep.
Oh, what? How? I... <laughs> How many times did I use the sand thing here? All right. Oh. Sweet silence. Oh my god, there's another one here. It looks like it's further north. I got the cricket. <laughs> yep. You know, this is... This is giving me a taste of just what Koroks are going to be like again. I seem to forget that Koroks can be like this too. I think I know where this one is though. Or not. the bird. Well then. I just wonder if there's anything else to do here. I don't... I don't think so. Um... Apparently there's one left here. Oh, crap. It's probably here. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's next door. Um, I need to go back to low rule. There's one, and I know where it is. Dun 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 There it is! Alright. Area complete. Right? Zero. Excellent. Professional treasure hunter. Can't go anywhere without being recognized. Having a tough time here, though. I find I can manipulate sand and wind. Okay. I'm sure this is worth it, because usually this is just money. Why won't these buttons work? Hmm. Weird. Alright, leave it be.
What, <laughs> what was happening there? Harry, did I scare ya? So, uh, thanks for helping me. This whole thing about me being a sage? Wow. Big surprise. Some kind of special girl. Wish I could leave where I am now, but I'll have to keep sending my broom. You know, I really miss my gram. Can't wait to see her again. There's another one here. It's behind the house, isn't it? Oh. No, but I still hear it. Why was it important for me to get here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, okay, I need to go back to higher level. Unfortunately, I think I think the only way back is uh, through that house. No, it's further down. hearing anymore. I heard one around here. Yeah, there it is. I think it's the tree, but I don't have Pegasus boots, so... Okay, well, this one's easy. Whoa. Though we have seen the world crumble before us. We must not give into the corruption of thievery. Monsters can keep you strong. They are your only salvation, my son. You must don the mask. Don the mask! We are corrupt, corrupt. Do not be deceived. Only monsters will save us now. Mumbo Jumbo! Mumbo Jumbo! <laughs> rabble, 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 rabble. There's statues at the north edge of town that enters into some sort of hideout. Yeah, we've done that already. Who are you? Boss went and hid my thief girl away where no one could hear what she had to say. Sometimes it hurts too much to care. You think knowledge is power, but it's really despair. Oh. This was the song I was supposed to learn, but I just guessed it first try. <laughs> Alright, well there's the answer for that one.
I just figured go with the stuff that sounds the most dark or edgelord, emo, whatever you want to call it. And it worked. Oh, you came back. Here's a little token of my affection. Go on, take it down. Be shy. Oh, there's another one. If this is the same as low roll, then... Wow, okay. I feel like I'm gonna stop playing this game and I'm gonna just hear this sound. That's what happens if you hear a sound too often, it just manifests, it's like it becomes an earworm. I used to play this game called Serious Sam when I was in university, and it had this enemy called Kamikazes, and they were just these headless dudes that would run at you with bombs. And uh, they would just be like, ah! 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 But you'd hear them in the distance. And the sound would get louder and louder as it got close to you. I'd play that game for a few hours, and then when I would go to bed, I swear I would be able to still hear that sound. I'm gonna be hearing this chirping. It's probably in a tree. Okay, I see that one. It sticks in your head, it does. Know that feeling. <laughs> It happens. I don't want to spend too much time hunting them, but you know, as I'm moving around the map, I'll, I'll look. You would often keep imagining the game you were playing when trying to sleep. I've gotten that a couple times. And sometimes uh, I'm still streaming. I'm hoping there's a visual difference between the bees. Okay, here, it's probably here. Oh, it's over there. What? <laughs> I thought for a second it got stuck. I 
wonder if this is here for a reason. Wow, okay. How long am I playing for tonight? A few hours, it's only 9.30 here. It's still early, and it's Friday. I don't have anything to do tomorrow. We'll be at this for a while. This is... The good time zone. <laughs> Makes the day go faster, I'm glad. Wait, hit the spot above the iceberg? The iceberg? What iceberg? Iceberg? What? <laughs> What do you mean, iceberg? Is that ice? I just- I just considered that just shallow water. Is it ice? Okay. I don't know, in the, in the Link to the Past, it's just shallow water, I think. Maybe it's not. I don't know, I thought it was just shallow water. Why would it be ice? I guess, why wouldn't it be ice? That's, I, I, you can ask me the same question. <laughs> it's blue? Yeah, but... I see it as deep water is dark blue. I've, I've goofed, I've goofed, I've goofed, I've goofed it. Welcome back to Laurel Kingdom, Lonkles. You have entered a truly evil place. You must find the Dark Palace. There you will discover a sage desperate in need of your help. Please go quickly to the rescue. So say I, Hilda of Laurel. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I feel like this is not something we can look up and find a definitive answer to. Okay. Um. Let's see, light blue water. I'm try trying to find an answer to this, but I don't think I will. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. The thing is, this is why I... Okay, this is my basis as to why I think it's shallow water. Because when you go to the waterfall in Zoro's Domain, why would it be... And I'm talking about A Link to the Past here, because this is what the map is based off. Why would there be ice at Zoro's Waterfall? And in the Dark World, there is an ice palace, and the sprites look different for that. So that's why I think it's shallow water. I was so confused. <laughs> it's just, you're talking about ice, I'm like, what? Are you talking about later when I get to the ice palace? What do you mean, ice? It works on multiple levels because, as an Australian, I am, uh, sheltered and haven't really experienced ice in terms of weather. I will one day experience a real winter. Poop 
Goku, please, spare my life. Here, I'll give you this. Just leave me alone. Oh. Now please go. I'll go. Safe. I'm safe. Thank you so much. Please don't tell anyone I paid you off. I have a reputation to keep. Let's just keep this a secret to everybody. <laughs> it's not that great. It's fun as a kid, but shoveling sucks. But I would rather that than what we have to deal with with the uh, the heat. How hot does it get there? Alright, I'm gonna talk about worst case scenario, but like... Okay, this is worst case scenario, and this happens... If you're unlucky, three times in a summer season. If you're unlucky. This summer, we have not gotten temperatures this high, but... It does get to this temperature, so let me convert it. Uh... A hundred and sixteen. A hundred and twenty if you're super unlucky. That's in Fahrenheit. Okay. If you've ever slipped on ice, you want to know what the Australian equivalent of it is? The Australian equivalent of it is burning your hand on something metallic. We have air conditioning. You have to have it here. Hang on. That looks like a golden bee. Hold on. I need to do this in two steps. Release it. No? Oh, right. I forgot this was a thing. You can make a bee. This is my pet bee. But you have to have air conditioning here. And the thing is, everywhere has it, so... It's pretty much, if you need to go somewhere, it's the time it takes you to go to your car. Do we have a lot of pools? Uh, we do, and also because our population is pretty much uh, along the coast, primarily, because the middle of Australia is a barren wasteland. Um, beach beaches are not that far away. And there's... everything is a public beach. There's no private beaches in Australia. So just drive to the coast. <laughs> I, I refuse to say it. I refuse to say it, for me. I'm not gonna say it. There's multiple things that you Americans have been lied to. Shrimp on the Barbie is one of them. Okay, that, that's just not a thing we say. Foster's is another thing. Foster's is not an Australian beer at all. Uh, most Australians would rather literally drink piss. And Outback Steakhouse is not Australian. In the slightest. Nobody knows what a blooming onion is. The first time I was asked that question... Correct, Foster's is British. The first time I was... yeah. Outback Steakhouse... ...is like what Taco Bell is to Mexican food. What, like... ...Papa John's is to pizza. What Olive Garden is to Italian food. Only probably on a much more uh, sinister level because they just made up a bunch of stuff and called it Australian, and it's not Australian. There's no such thing as outback bread. There's no such thing as blooming onions in Australia. They're not a thing. Olive Garden is gross. Yeah. I'm not saying Outback Steakhouse is gross, for the record. It's more just... I guess it's not authentic. That's that's the word I'm gonna say.
I remember the first time I got asked about a blooming onion. I had an American friend visiting, and uh, we were hanging out, and they were, I go to him, alright, so what's the first thing you want to do? It's like, oh, you know what I really want? I, I really want to go have, like, a, a traditional blooming onion. And I was like, no problem, but can you do me one favor? What? What the fuck? Tell me what the fuck a blooming onion is. And they just... They felt so betrayed. <laughs> They've been lied to. And when he described it, I'm like, so you think the pinnacle of Australian culinary delights is deep frying a large onion? The onions are good. No, I, I've heard they're good. It's not a comment on how they taste. I like onion rings. And I'm sure it would taste good. I mean, most things that are deep fried, yeah, you can get on board with that. But it's, it's not Australian in the slightest. Have we ever deep fried Oreos? We have not. What is Australian? In terms of food, um, the most, I, I guess the thing that you would, we'd be known for, um, the meat pie, the, uh, the sausage roll, it's like a baked good, it's, pies here are, are generally savory. Um, but I mean, other than that, most of our food is just... It's just a melting pot of every single culture here. I need to try a deep fried Oreo powdered sugar on top. I can just feel like I'm getting diabetes just by... <laughs> just by listening to that description. <laughs> I have heard that that kind of stuff is, is amazing. I have heard it. I've heard from friends that go to America and they talk about the kind of food they had. And they're like, it was so delicious, but fuck me, did it destroy me afterwards. That's why a lot of you are fat. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's that and... I mean, in, in soft drinks, don't they use uh, high fructose corn syrup instead of sugar? Because... Unless I'm wrong, that used to use. I swear, like, that used to be used to uh, fatten livestock. <laughs> Why am I going for a golden bee? Because Bee Dude wants uh, a golden bee. Doubt it. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Citation required, but I feel like that's one of the reasons we don't use it here. What on earth? Bomb? Hmm.
boots. Ah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, Dark Temple. You are nearing the Dark Palace. It is home to the followers of a great and terrible beast. They were once soldiers from Laurel Castle. Now they revere a foul being and cower here in this temple. I accept this response. I accept the responsibility. I was too weak to protect them. They were all good people, my people. If they find you, they will imprison you. Please be careful. Say I, Hilda of Laurel. Um, but yeah, the Australian meat pie. The best way I can describe it is like imagine a pot pie, and it's just like a chicken pot pie, except it's like filled with. Uh, like, it can be minced beef and gravy, like, typically. But sometimes it can be, uh, steak and gravy. And when you go to any sort of sports event, um, instead of hot dogs, you would have one of those. Pretty much. And it is, it is quite good. Fatty, but quite good. And you just, uh, put ketchup on top. You get, like, these little... These little packets that you squeeze on top. That's the traditional one. But then we also have, uh... Asian-inspired ones. Like, you can get a... Thai green curry one. <laughs> the Italian district made a lasagna pie, which... Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it, haven't tried it, but it's it's a thing. Is Aboriginal food a thing? Uh, it's referred to as bush tucker. And it's... I mean, I've eaten Aboriginal food technically when, uh, we went to my dad's friend's... I don't even know what it was, like, I was young, but kangaroo was, was on the menu. If I could try one American snack, what would I try? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say the pizza rolls because that is one thing I've been told by multiple Americans. That pizza rolls are very good. And we just have nothing similar. But I mean, also, Cool Ranch Doritos, they're not really a thing here. So I'm curious about those. Aside from that, I've tried some other stuff. Okay, I thought there was more to here, but no. They're good, like the pepper, anyone love those Doritos, yeah. I wish we had, at the very least, the Doritos here. I think you can find them because we have, uh, stores that import, uh, snack foods from America, but it's, I mean, they usually mark up the price by quite a bit. But, the pizza rolls is definitely something I can't get. The, uh... This is interesting. I mean, the other thing is there's just certain foods, you know, that are known to be American. That you can find them here, but I don't think it compares to what you'd get over there. Stuff like, you know, cheese steaks, uh, like a New York style slice of pizza. That kind of stuff, right? Like, 
It's one of those things that I'm sure whatever we do here just doesn't compare. NY pizza is so good. I've, I've seen. Like, I, I really want to try, like, a buffalo chicken one. But also just the basic pepperoni. That's how you get rupees from the rocks? Yeah. <laughs> you just hit the rocks. You mean you never tried... You never thought, um, just hit them? Crap. Had a mac and cheese one that was really good. Ah. Oh. Uh. This year I tried a chili dog for the first time. And it was so good, but afterwards... I just felt sleepy. <laughs> we don't really have any hot dog places here, so it was a food truck, and they were doing chili dogs, and man. The one that I did not have the guts to try was they did a, a mac and cheese dog. Which is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. You just learn you can break pots with the sword in the Oracle games. Yeah, it's not always a thing. So, it's fine. If you didn't know it, because it's... There are some mechanics that are inconsistent between Zelda games. There's a lot of specialty pizzas. What would be your highest recommendation if I was to... Take a trip and be like, alright, I'm after a good New York slice. What should I get? Ah, I suck at stealth! <laughs> I hate stealth games. have to try a regular cheese, then go for the specialty, so keep it basic. So, would you say the mark of a good pizza place is one that gets the basics down, and then... From that point, you can rely that they'll do everything else good? Okay, there we go, this is what I'm supposed to do. Sucked. Need the pepper and they need the meat juice on it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, meat is good. It's all preferences. You like yours more well done. You don't like the cheese running off the pizza. Yeah, I mean, for me, when it comes to pizza, less is more. But granted, you know, Australia does commit some pizza crimes. But at least, at least where I live, I'm not too far away from the Italian district, and if I want a good pizza, I just go down there. You like extra sauce, can't stand a dry pizza. Huh. The other thing is... Curiosity about deep dish. Because never really seen anything like that here.
I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not playing well. You like the Supreme pizzas. What's typically on the Supreme over there? Because here a lot of places put uh, a bit of everything, and that includes pineapple. And it's Pineapple is one of those things that's just... I know people die on the inside when they hear pineapple on pizza. But it's a thing that happens here. Olives, peppers, meats, onions. Olives, onions, mushrooms, bacon, and pepperoni. See, that I could go for. That's... That's different to here. Here it's pretty much whatever the pizza place has in terms of toppings, it's everything on it. It's not... It's not balance, it's just, yeah! Just grab a handful of everything, just put- slap it on. Most places, uh... The Ameri- they'll have like a flavor called American pizza. And that'll either be like a pepperoni or it'll be just something that's just a lot of bacon. You call that a Hawaiian for ham and pineapple. But this is like exactly what you were describing, but also the addition of, uh, of pineapple. That's a supreme here in a lot of cases. Sometimes it'll even have seafood on it. I don't know. Like Every pizza place is different. The Australian pizza is pretty universal. It's ham, bacon, and egg. They, uh, crack an egg on top and then, you know... That's the... the Aussie. Seafood on pizza. Yeah, the, some places will, they'll call it a marinara. And it's like... Uh, prawns, mussels... Uh... Calam... wait. Prawns, mussels, calamari. And then... It's, uh... It's like on a bechamel sauce, typically. There's also just, uh... Hang on. That is interesting that that was there. Oh my god, what is this area? Am I just never gonna get to this temple? Cause I just keep getting caught? Oh no, but it's- it, alright, that's a checkpoint, that makes sense. favorite things that I heard about Out Outback Steakhouse from an Australian was if you think about it, Outback Steakhouse is the most Australian restaurant and the reason that's the case is because Australians have a habit of lying to Americans about what Australia is so if you think about it, Outback Steakhouse is lying to Americans about what Australia is therefore it is the most Australian restaurant What am I supposed to do? <laughs> okay, I mean... That's the thing I'm concerned about if I ever visit America, is just... I'm gonna gain weight. I, I would have to just balance it out with so much exercise, because... There's just so much different food I would want to try. On multiple levels. Because, I mean... 
fast food is another thing. It's there are some things that I'm just curious about. McRib bad. We have McRibs. McRibs. For me, it would be chains that don't exist here. But I mean, I think my primary one would be just the different fried chicken places. You know, I'm all about that chicken, but... I mean... Everyone talks about Taco Bell as well, and Taco Bell only recently opened in Australia, and the thing is, they don't really have everything. KFC is so bad nowadays. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't try... I, I would try KFC for the pot pie, not, not the chicken. Because, uh, Australian KFC is better. Didn't have Taco Bell. No. There's quite a few chains we don't have. So like, these are the these are the chains we have. We have McDonald's. We have KFC. We have Domino's. We have Pizza Hut. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Carl's Jr. recently opened, like I'd say five years ago. There's not that many around, but they do exist. Wendy's did exist at one point, but then they went broke and they sold off their brand. So Wendy's in Australia is, uh, they sell mi milkshakes, ice cream, and hot dogs, of all things. It's not the same thing, but Wendy's did exist. We have Burger King, but it's called Hungry Jack's. And, uh, they tried to rename it to Burger King in the early 2000s just to make it consistent, but Australians refused it. Our Wendy's is not the same, so. I would like to try the American version of Wendy's. Taco Bell in the last five years opened. That was, that was pretty much it. And there's not everything available. I think I covered everything. I might have missed one or two, but that's what we have. Taco Bell is good, but nothing like a real taco. Oh, I know, like... I, I can't go in there because I just hear my parents just saying in Spanish, you know what? What are you doing? Why would you eat cardboard? Just come home. I'll make you a real taco. Don't pay for that stuff. I can make them myself, but you know. But this is just one of these things where I just- I just need to know. Do you want to tire the Dorito Taco? I think that- that is the- the curiosity for me, yes. That Taco. You're on the hunt for a good empanada place near you. Yeah. That means something else to me because empanada is like... Hang on. I don't know, Spanish is weird. It's just, there's just regional differences. But I know what you mean. I 
What is this? Oh, I see. That doesn't have light shining on it. No, I need, I need to learn how to make Salvadorian food properly. I can kind of make it to some extent, but... There's certain things I need to learn. Wait, how did I even get here? Oh. Am I just screwed? What did I do? I can't go back. Um. I know you can, 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 can. There we go. Then just... Sometimes it's not 100% that you'll get to, uh, throw it up to the next level, but okay. Oh. I hate these things. Hang on, I need the hook shot. This music is very eerie. There we go. What's with the markings on the wall? It's interesting. I don't know what to think of this dungeon, this just... It's got me in thought. The problem with going to a country for food is like, you can't do it all in one trip. There's just too much. Navigating purely I mean the other thing Wing places I want chicken wings So you know That'd definitely be another thing that I'd be Down for We don't have wing places There's no place we can just go and be like, you know what, I'm just going to eat an obscene amount of chicken wings. And it won't cost me that much. They sell chicken wings in store. No, yeah, there's just no dedicated just wing place. You can get them at bars, right? And butchers will have pre-marinated wings that you can get. But just the uh, the eating experience, going somewhere, hang out, 
with a group of friends and just being like, yeah, well, let's go just eat a bunch of wings. All right, these are these are the clones. Hang on, I need a. That sounds great, a restaurant just for wings. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Gammy is Australian, so can confirm. It's just we don't really have a dedicated place where we can just go sit down and have wings and nothing else. And where they have just multiple flavors. Pizza places will sell wings. Um... KFC sells wings, and it's just... That's pretty much it. <laughs> Sometimes if you go to a bar, yeah, they might have it on their menu. But it's usually just five or six wings, and it costs quite a bit. It's not something like a ridiculous, hey, eat as much as you fucking want. <laughs> That's Buffalo Wild Wings, oh yeah. I'm, all, I'm aware of Buffalo Wild Wings, I would like to check that out. I feel like I would have to just, before taking a trip, just lose as much weight as possible, and then in preparation of just putting it back on. <laughs> That's just the inevitability. Wings are good Super Bowl food. Yeah. I mean, we just have our AFL thing. But I guess people do wings. I wish KFC had just wings, but without the crumb coating. They did for a little bit. One time for the cricket, they had these uh, barbecue wings. And they were great, but they didn't keep them. That was like... 10-ish years ago? No. Yeah, roughly 10 years ago. I think because there was just too much effort for them, so they just... ...stopped doing them. I see, okay. Oh. It's just that. But, I guess just drop. Oh. I can't zoom in on this map, I'm going off. Just watching the mini-map on the bottom. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> this dungeon is, is spooky. I guess that's, an, that's the intent. Had chicken here for dinner, nice. I didn't eat dinner because I had a, I had a pretty big lunch. Um, went and saw the Mario movie, and I had popcorn for the first time in I want to say like fifteen ish years. And it was only because they were giving um, if you got their combo, they would give you a metallic question mark block tin. So, I, I wanted that, because I want to put my Game Boy games in there, so that's what I did. 
Because they're kind of just floating about at the moment, so that's good. I just... I'm going to put them in the tin and then they're just there. So whenever I want to stream them, hey, just get them out of the tin. How was the movie? Uh, without spoilers, it's a very good movie. It's a good kids movie. And... Critics are just being dicks. <laughs> over analyzing a kids movie. All the kids that were there were really enjoying themselves and... There's a lot of references that are, are for adults as well, so it's good. It's one of those movies that just keeps going from scene to scene to scene. There's no, like... It's not one of those things that has build-up and, you know... Story structure where it's typical, right? It's just... The movie starts and then it just goes, goes, goes. Just keeps going. And then before you know it, it's over. What on earth is this? Oh, I see. Oh, oh, that is... Wow, this room. That sounds fun. Yeah. Definitely recommend. Especially if uh, you have kids that you, you can watch it with. It's not to say you won't enjoy it if you just go watch it on your own as an adult. You will. I made a mistake by lighting that torch. Now I can't see what I'm doing. Oh no, they're lighting the torch. Okay, I see. I see the conundrum here. And then I think to stop it... Yep, yeah, okay, I get it. I need to do this. There we go. Okay. That's, that's an interesting puzzle. Oh, what now? But, I mean, the movie's done well for itself. Okay. Hmm. Still not a key yet. <laughs> I, I can't think of another movie I want to go watch. I pretty much wanted to catch up with the family, but... Man, is it just expensive to see a movie. Honestly, just... What you pay to go see a movie, you can go to a nice restaurant and get a pretty good dinner. Not for one, <laughs> for multiple people. Okay, too slow. Do I just shoot here? Yeah, maybe I just shoot. I haven't been in a theater since before COVID. It's, it's, I guess it's kind of two things, it's just... Price is one, but then the whole other thing is just... Movies? I don't know. It's kind of becoming less and less of the case of stuff that warrants going to see it. On the big screen.
rather watch it when it's free. Yeah, exactly. You're in the comfort of your own home, and it's just easier. I like how this dungeon is flowing. I think I gotta be quick here. Does this go out? I'm waiting. Because if this goes out, then I, I need to time it. But if this doesn't go out, yeah, it goes out. So there's a, there's a bit of time, but I need to do this quick. Where's the other one? Isn't there one more? Wait, what's the point? What was the point of this then? Ah, crap. So far I've been doing good on this dungeon, it's just here. I need to get there somehow. Huh. Ah. Damn it. <laughs> I was hoping for the key. Okay, it's not here. This can't be right. Because you can just drop here, so why would I... How do I get up there? That's what I need to figure out. Whoops. I think I needed to go further. Is this the thing? No, it just... Oh, it is. No, but I've been in there. You're watching Willy Wonka on TV, the original, and the other channel is a decent... Wait. Oh, like, you're not in the mood for a horror movie, gotcha. Yeah, horror's not really my thing, either. I think a lot of horror movies these days, they just try to gross you out, as opposed to try to scare you. didn't solve anything either. I mean, there's a chest in here, but... Ugh. <laughs> this was going so smooth. I, this hat, that chest has to be the key. I just need to get there. Crap. Recently, I, I've just been watching, um... Just older movies, like stuff from the 80s and 90s. One, because it's kind of trippy to see these actors that are now older when they were younger, but also just... I forgot who said it, but there was a movie director that said that Hollywood's making the same six or seven movies now every year because they don't want to take risks. Hang on, I did this wrong.
No, but see, this doesn't let me get there. Okay, if I'm looking at the minimap... No, it has to... I have to go through this room, and then here... Okay. And then there's a room here. Is this just a fake wall? Is, is this all this is? No. So, there's, there's a room south, but I don't know how to get in there. Unless it's just... Nope. What about... Nope, it's not that either. I'm not sure what this is. There's a spot here. That's Is this just What? What did that achieve? I am confused. Did I just mess- I think I just may have just messed this up. Yeah, okay, okay. I think I see. So now, directly above me. That's where I need to go. Okay, so... Over there. Huh. But then, how do I make this break through? There's gotta be a secret switch or something here. That makes this... Disappear. Otherwise, how else would you do this? Definitely close to completing this. I just <laughs> there's one detail that I'm missing. See, this just leads here. There's two details I'm missing, like, it's... Ugh. This is not easy. Okay, what about this? Apparently there's a chest here.
I don't see it though. <laughs> what is this dungeon? I've hit a I've hit a brick wall. Okay, hang on. This definitely has to be something minor I've overlooked. See, it says there's a chest here as well, but there's nothing here. I'm standing directly on top of it. Oh, they're walking on top. Ah, uh ha. -huh. Okay, I see this now. That's why they're able to hit stuff. There's also that, that pattern on the wall, but I'm not sure what that means. I am a little bit stuck here, I'm not gonna lie. I keep accidentally using the bomb when I don't mean to. This is the one thing I can't figure out. The light obviously has to drop further below, but there's no way that's going to happen here. Wait, there's an even higher floor. How do I get there? Oh, it's the next door. I'm gonna hate the answer to this. Okay, hold on. What is this it's trying to get me to do? I think this is just a clue for this. I've already been down there. I need to go one step higher somehow. I think that one is not one step higher. I think that one just comes from...
from above, because there is one more floor. What about this? Okay, hold on. This is... Where is this pointing to? Wait, why can't I stick to this? That's weird. I can't do the wall thing here. Why is that the case? Okay, hold on. That's already active. What is this? Oh, it's, it has to be something simple. It can't be this convoluted. But then why is there light here? Okay, maybe if I unequip this... Because these serve as clues, so why does it end here? Do you know what I can think of? No, okay. I thought maybe you could fall to the next floor. That's not the case. Go back down. Do I really have to do it like this? Hang on. Yeah, okay. Where are they? There you are. Okay. I just got one. Where's the other one? Yell. Ha! Good. Three hours later. I'm gonna go back and forth between this room, just to heal. Oh, that took way too long. It wouldn't be a stream if I didn't make someone internally scream for a minute.
That thing kind of reminds me of Hollow Knight a little. Okay. I mean, that also works too. Opposite. like a haunted house. Okay. Alright, so that's just to go back. Aha! Okay, there's, there's the crack. Okay, I think I need to do it to both. Whoops. gimmick of the dungeon is just darkness is the clue. Light is, uh, is not required. Oh, no. Well, I think I just messed this up. How do I... Uh, I see. this. Beam of lights. So this is where it originates. But all of it seems to be working. I think. Wait, what is this? No, okay, there's, there's something with this door. What is this? same room over and over again. But there's... That has to be the big chest room, so how do I get in there? Okay. 
hold up. Okay, this drops here. Yeah, it, ah, all that effort. I thought that was something, it was nothing. Cut by the looks of it. Well, I guess I should just drop it and just see. I don't know. Let's see. Where is this? Yeah, this is just here. So that doesn't matter. Oh, I'm so close to finishing this. I just need to solve this last, last puzzle. Pattern is everywhere. And there's a chest behind here. How do I get there? Right, so this gets rid of all the light. I think that's everything. Okay, that's every single- oh no wait, does this window too? Oh, okay. Right, so now we need to uncrack this window. I wonder if the ghost was a clue. I'm just overcomplicating it. Whoops. Yeah. Overcomplicating! <laughs> really? Here? Yeah. What? No, it's just... It's just telling me to go down. It's not the shortcut. Okay. I, th I think this is it.
Wait, what? But, but then... It still doesn't resolve that room, though. But I guess let's just... Let's just trust this is gonna work out. Oh, no, this was a poor choice. There's one missing. Why is there... Oh. <laughs> it's still not over. The one on the right-hand side is missing. Something is blocking it above. This all wait, what's here? That window's not done, okay. Alright. Wait, that didn't work? Oh. I swear, if this isn't the answer. Please. Yeah, about that. I don't have the boss key. I haven't solved it. what this is.
Is that really all that was? Ah! Yes. Convolution of the highest order. Okay, there's no going back. There's no going back. All right. Wait, is this is this really what I think it is? No, this is completely different. Similar, but not quite the same. What an odd dungeon. Not what I was expecting for a boss. I was expecting a ghost or something. Not this boss. This is, uh, this is spooky. If it's in the darkness, it gets empowered. That's... Yep. No, now, now this makes sense. The dungeon, the first half of it went smoothly, the second half, man, I struggled a little bit, but, okay. I thought that was Luigi for a sec. Is that really you, Lunkles? Where am I? Where's my mom and papa? Psa! <laughs> Did you fall for it? I'm not scared. Why would I be? I'm a seven sage. Um, did I say that right? Whatever it is, though. It sounds like a big deal. So, you'd better make sure you rescue all seven of us seven sages. Wow, that's really a mouthful. Oh, so there's only seven, right? So, there's four... Dungeons? I mean, we're more than halfway, and it's day two, so okay. I, I, I imagined this game was gonna be short. I, I knew it already. Is this still under guard? Or is this safe now? No, it's safe now. Okay, cool. Hmm. 
can explore this without fear. I mean, this is certainly an interesting take on this maze. Okay, there's a chest up here. this. Maybe it's nothing. Yeah, I think it's nothing. It's just ornamental. Okay, I think we're done here. You know what? Hold on. I remember hearing something here. Yeah, it's over there. I can see it. This one wasn't hard. I should probably go turn some of these in and see if I get something. Sure, I took a bit of damage. Okay, surprisingly easy to get that. There's gotta be one in a tree here or something. I can hear it. I 
I guess I can't go any further along this path. Alright, we gotta return. saw that. <laughs> I'm surprised that did not stick out before. And you'd be able to help me. Thank you, oh, thank you. Look at them. If you bring me your items, I'll give you a nice reward. Yes. Oh, so nice. But I can't work my magic on items you don't own. Nothing lent only. Only true possessions. Bring me your items. Well, that's a true pos I guess... That's a true possession. That These are my only true possessions. Okay. I have some big news for you. You may know me as the rental guy, but now I'm in the sales booth too. Great, right? Signing today, you can buy items too, and at really good prices. If you act now, your first purchase is half price. Only once per customer, though. Just to give you a taste of sweet, delicious ownership. Boomerang is probably the most useful one. I think let's just let's just go with the ones the most useful three okay and then the arrow bow and arrow for sure Shot is if I have enough. Okay, mallet. And uh, what about this? Not enough. Okay, next one's gonna cost me eight hundred. But hold up, Mister Hero. I've got big, more big news for you. Top secret. Kind of thing only Ravio knows about. Want to hear it? Don't know why I'm asking, just going to keep talking anyway. It's a little something I like to call. Quick equip. You know, for swapping items out on the fly, press your equipped item to use quick equip, even while you're running around. Of course, you can always take your sweet time thinking about each and every time you want to use an item. In that case, it's better to just keep using the items button. Here endeth the lesson. Oh no, see this is this is clunky. Okay. That's just one of those things that in motion, it's probably not great.
Oh, I can make something of yours nicer. Please give it to Mama. Mama. Ugh. I can't even say it. Um, boomerang. Yes, we want the magical boomerang. Boomerang is more powerful now. Try out to see its stronger effects. I can make something stronger. Please give it. Uh, we'll go bow next. This music. Uh, hook shot. It's just a stronger hook shot. My babies are so shy, you might not even see them when you walk by. You can hear them cry, so please find out where they all hide. Okay, so, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, chat, it's time for another intermission. It's been a few hours, so I'm going to take a short two to five minute break. I just want to refill a water bottle, stretch legs, and uh, we will continue for a bit longer. So get a snack or something and uh, we'll be back shortly. But if you're watching later on YouTube, this is where we say bye YouTube. So see ya. Bye YouTube. Thanks for watching. <laughs>